Realme C21Y screen replacement and disassembly. We are going to remove the SIM tray. And using our metal opening tool, we can open up the back cover. This is a plastic back cover that is held in place by some plastic clamps inside of the back cover. It is not glued onto the phone. It's just held in place by pressure. You have to be careful. We have a fingerprint sensor. And if you remove the back cover, you may break the ribbon cable. So let's see. This is the first time I'm opening up this kind of phone. Let's use a little bit of heat to unglue the fingerprint sensor from the back cover. So, I guess one minute using our hair dryer should be enough. So half a minute <laughs> seems to be enough because it's already ungluing. Yes, and it is nicely unglued. If we would have not used heat, maybe this fingerprint sensor would have been broken now because you don't have any ribbon cable here, like other phones do. Okay, so be careful. We continue by unscrewing all the screws from the motherboard side. And F after we will continue to unscrew the charging side. It seems all of these screws are the same size, so it's not necessarily uh, mandatory to keep them in the same spot. So, we are going to use this opening tool to lift up this shield carefully, so we don't break something. Disconnect the battery and the same to the loudspeaker. Open up this area using an opening tool. This is the loudspeaker. Okay. And now, let's see. Hmm. Can we test the new display? Or do we need to... Yes, we can test. We have a long cable. 
okay because we have a long LCD cable we can test the new display so get your new display of course this is not mandatory you can go on without doing this but if your display has some problems it's easier to do this so it looks like we have a clear image no lines or dots at least at this moment the display is black so let's see looks like we have a good image okay let's see so it's it has some lag but this is just the phone being recently powered on okay 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 so looks like now it's okay and we have we have a good image and touch screen is working properly we are going to replace this screen power off and go on replacing the screen disconnect the battery disconnect our new display Let's see. We get this charging board out. Okay. Be careful. Don't break your antenna cable. So we check for screws. Do we have screws? No. It looks like this motherboard does not have any screw let's see where do we need to open so looks like this is the best place to lift your motherboard up so we have instructions here pull up the battery so this looks like an easy thing to do right well you need to get this layer off and pull up gently slowly and it's done we are going to unglue this slowly so this requires more force it's a very strong glue very strong double sided tape and we are done so get this in place let's see okay something like that and now it is aligned Oh, 
Okay. We need to get this vibration motor out. We need to get the, let's see, no, the vibration motor is on the new screen. So this is here. Everything seems to be in place. We need to get this flex cable, the charging flex cable and the ear speaker, the earpiece. Okay, let's add a little bit of heat. Now, be careful, go under your speaker and here this comes off very easily, okay, you need to get this off as well, so looks get this sticky uh, things off this is better if we get the motherboard in so earpiece in and let's get the motherboard in and the charging board in okay okay let's see we have a bracket plastic bracket here and a little bit of pressure and it's now in place get the antenna cable inside like that and now we can align properly this charging flex cable click into place click click in place did, did it click yes it's, it was in okay so let's see yes now it sounded like a click and push down on the flex cable this aligns it better then placing it before your motherboard is in. You have this. This is okay. Now we can put this shield back on. And let's see, we need to place our battery. Yes, our battery. So check to see if everything is in place before you glue your battery here. 
because this glue is very very strong okay so we have our earpiece we have the power button and volume is already here because it's an original display and looks like everything is in place Okay, so get your battery in place and push a little bit so it sticks to the double-sided tape. And now you can connect the battery and place the shield on top of your motherboard. Let's see now seems to be okay don't forget to put in your screws After we finish putting the screws in, we are almost done. We only need to get the back cover on and the SIM tray. Okay, back cover clicks into place and the SIM tray goes okay. okay, now it's okay. Спасибо.